Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, Chaotic Shadow 24 and welcome to a brand new episode of Terraria for the 3DS! In this episode, we are going to be taking requests from both Zombie Power 12 and Beefy Bacon! Whoa! I have Cthulhu! Okay, that's weird. Anyway, um, they told me that I should build uh, a spaceship, or just a ship, really. Zombie Power said to build a spaceship and a pirate ship, and Beefy Bacon just said a floating ship. So I decided to kind of mash them both together. So in this episode, we are going to be creating... Basically, we're going to be making a mix between uh, a spaceship and an airship. So it's going to kind of have... Uh, turbines and a balloon, but it's going to look like a spaceship. So hopefully that should be interesting. But anyway, if you're wondering why I'm on this uh, little area collecting all of the sand, it's because uh, we need it for the balloon because there's really no other material that I know of that is possible uh, for a balloon-like material, I guess. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna cut it here and I will meet you guys back um, in my other world, because this is another world, I'm not just destroying the beach of my actual world, don't worry. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys back in my old world once I have collected enough sand. Alright everyone, welcome back. Here I am in my original world, and I'm just getting started on the outline for our little airship here. So I've actually made a drastic change, and that's going to be the fact that there is no longer going to be uh, balloons supporting this whole thing because we just can't fit balloons here. We might have one, I guess. Maybe there's room for one, but there's really not much build room here. So, uh, balloons on this airship are a little out of the question. So, that's a bit of a bummer. But I did look up on Google and uh, uh, I found the Terraria subreddit again. I really should bookmark that. And I found a really cool design for turbines. And I thought I would apply that to our little airship here. So this is just going to be a cute little airship. Um, I've decided that, oh, it's not going to be made out of wood, by the way. I decided that uh, since most of our builds involve a lot of stone and a lot of glass, we're going to be making a stone airship, and it's going to have a lot of glass involved with it. And like I said, it's going to be powered by a turbine and possibly one balloon. So basically all of the sand that I just gathered is worthless, uh, except, you know, the fact that we can make glass with it. So that's a bit of a bummer, but whatever. At least I have loads of uh, it saved up now, so just in case we need it, we'll be able to use it whenever we like. So anyway, I'm gonna get started on this outline here. Uh, don't worry, I'm not about to cut it. We're both going to do it together, so don't worry about that. I would like to set up something that, you know, blocks all the wyverns, or uh, not the wyverns, the wy nothing can block the wyverns. Uh, something that blocks all of the uh, harpies and stuff that come in because man they are annoying. You know what? Uh, let's go find our death scythe or death sickle. Oh, we have it right here. Cool. We're gonna use this death sickle uh, since that's much easier to use because, you know, it can go through stuff. So that's cool. We're gonna be using that. Uh, but anyway, let's get started. I'm using wood here since it's easy to delete or mine or whatever. So, uh, yeah. No, no problem. It's gonna be stone eventually. Don't worry your head about it. Anyway, let's get started here. So this is actually kind of difficult because I cannot see a single thing. Uh, I wish we had a brighter block that we could use. Obviously we have sand. Uh, we do have stone. Is that brighter? Nah, I can hardly see that either on the bottom screen. So yikes, that's a bummer. Whatever. We're going to make the entrance right here. So this is the entrance. I don't know how to specify that. I guess we'll use that. And then a little bit from the entrance. Come on, are you kidding me? Get out of here. Come on. Shoo! There you go. Uh, so there's the entrance over here. And I guess down here we'll make some sort of, you know, platforms to go down. Oh, that's re that reminds me. Everyone told me how to fix my issue uh, up in my house over here. We'll go over here. Uh, so, uh, people told me that apparently these platforms count as blocks, so it blocks, you know, uh, it blocks people from moving in since 
basically what you see here, this little square in between this house and these platforms here. This is the house, and that's not enough for people to move in. So, uh, I can just do this, and now people can move in immediately. Simple. Simple as that. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. Uh, but don't worry, the problem doesn't lie with this house because this house is mine. No one's gonna be living here. Uh, I just thought maybe this would happen with another house. So, I imagine if I had finished the mushroom house by now, I probably would have figured that out eventually. Uh, so, I don't know. Why do I just stop there? That's weird. Huh. Oh, it's... Okay, I understand. Obviously, because there's a three-block gap right there. Anyway, uh, so the turbine for this thing is going to be over in this direction over here. Uh, you know, you kind of back up into the port or whatever, so that's what that's going to be all about. And then the... Uh, the front part of the ship is going to be right over here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if we'll make a separate room for that. Oh, come on. There you go. Okay, so, yeah, I think we might end up making a separate room for this. Uh, if we do that, and then we kind of go across like this and make some stairs going up, like a so. Gosh, this is so difficult, you know, when you can't see. My goodness, I'm trying to look up at the top screen, but I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so, huh, maybe, maybe we'll bring this over, like so. Come on, are you kidding me? There you go. So, now we'll have the stairs going up, like that. Not too high, just a little bit up. Are you kidding me? I keep tapping the thing, but it's not letting me. It, it takes two clicks now for some reason. Okay, now that that's done, we can go across a bit, and this is where our seat will be. And then this is where the glass will be, I suppose. And you know what? Let's go a little bit higher than that. Give me, give me the stuff. There you go. And man, this is so difficult to concentrate on because of the wyverns or the harpies. I keep messing that up. They're so annoying. They're like Satan spawn. Seriously, now they're gone. Where are you guys going? Come back. I'm trying to kill you. God damn, they're crazy. And here they are again. Okay, come on. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. You're... You're making me a fool or something. I don't know. <laughs> Gosh, they keep running away for some reason. Come here. My god. Okay, whatever. This is really difficult to do. Uh, now we're going to kind of give this a little bit of curve. There you go. And we'll go up a little bit higher. And then this will look like this, I suppose. Like so. Not entirely sure. And then we'll have this bit going down. Actually, you know what? That could that could go a little bit more over here. There you go. And then we'll do this, and then this, and then this. Okay. So it's kind of taking shape here. It looks a little bit like a frog. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Uh, we'll go down a bit more. There you go. So I guess this will be where... I don't know, where you can put chests or something. It's like a storage area. I'm not sure what to call it. That could be pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. What do I need to do? Um, hmm. I guess... I can hardly see here, but if I do that, then a chest can go right here. Or right there. There you go. And then a chest can go here as well. So I guess that means we can bring this down a little bit, like a so. There you go, and I broke that by accident. See how hard this is, my goodness gracious! Uh, okay. What now? What can we do now? How about we bring this over a little bit? There you go, and we'll put these here. One, two, three, four, there you go, and then we can put those down there, and then we'll have a ladder there for ourselves. Get out of here, please. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Now we gotta build down here so we have something we can stand on. Perfecto! And now, we can find out where... There you go. Okay. Oh, I hit the desk by accident. Gosh, this is so awkward, isn't it? There you go. Alright. Bada bing, bada boom. We have some space to work with now. So, I gotta think about this some more. I don't really like how we can't get up here. That's a bit annoying. So, we're gonna have to think of how to remedy this situation. Hmm. You know what? I think we could probably bring this over, like so. There you go. Does that work out? Sorta. 
sort of does, sort of doesn't. Uh, what if we just kind of bring this down further, like that? Maybe that'll look good, because I want chests to be here, you know? Actually, that doesn't look too bad. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, you know what, though? We'll do this. There you go. Now we have more space. And now we can go down a little more. And, hmm. Maybe, actually, we can go down slightly more than that. There you go. And then we can have more space for chests up here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, this is really difficult for me. I I want to save real quick because I don't want to I don't want to lose my progress because this is so in intricate and I don't know, I'll have to do it all over again and deal with all the wyverns again and that'll be annoying. Oh my goodness, I don't feel like doing such a thing. They're super annoying. Seriously, I wish there was some sort of item you could use uh to or a potion, at least, to kinda stop enemies from spawning so much. There's a potion called a battle potion, which lets enemies spawn much more. I wish that existed for, for you know, making enemies spawn less. I think that'd be really cool, but no, that doesn't exist. Anyway, I'm gonna make some more uh, wood platforms here. There you go. So we have more space for these chests. There you go, so that's... How many chests is that? One, two, three. That's three chests right there. And no more, apparently. Okay, well, I guess we can do this. I'm not sure. Uh, go over here a bit. There you go. That means there's not going to be any chests over this way besides one. I don't know how I like that. Huh. Dang it, I have no clue. Oops, wrong thing. What if we go down all the way like that? Does that look good or does that look bad? We about to find out. It doesn't look too bad. Aw oh, man, I don't know. I have no idea. Um... We can't go all the way... Wait, hang on. What if we... No, that looks weird. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five chests available to go here. Uh... I don't know. Does that look good or does it not? I don't think it looks very good unless maybe we put something on the front here. I'm not entirely sure what we could put on the front. Just something weird, I guess. I have no idea. I don't think that looks very good, but that was just a test or whatever. I guess we could do that, but I'm not sure. I guess I'll figure it out eventually. This front part is a nightmare. We'll figure it out at some point. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to do this for the time being, so no... Uh, no harpies get in because they are annoying. Now we can't see again. I don't like it over here. I can't see. Um, okay, so we're actually going to have to go a little bit further down uh, here because we need space for the turbine. So we're going to be going one more down. Gosh dang it. Okay, there you go. Uh, but man, I really want to fix this up. There's just something wrong with it. I need to fix it. What if we do this? There you go. How does that look? Are you kidding me? How the heck did you get in? I wasn't paying attention. He got in somehow. That was weird. Now what if we do that? And we bring that one down. And then I guess a door could go here. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Let's just do this. It doesn't need to go all the way over there. How about that? That looks better. At least a little bit. So now four chests can go up there. I'm sorry, I'm spending so much time on here. Uh, and then one chest can go in this area here. I don't know why those placed there. Uh, so, yeah. I guess that's good enough. Maybe a bed could go in here or something. That might actually be pretty cool. I'm not sure though. Just like a bed up here or something. That might actually look pretty nice. Maybe we'll have a look at that. See how that looks. Uh, but yeah, that's how that's gonna look for now, I guess. Uh, now let's see here. What's all this gonna look like? I guess we could do that. Add some layers to it or something. That looks pretty weird, actually. You know what? We'll bring that back to how it was. Let's just head down, shall we? Gosh, stop getting in here. My goodness. There you go. Okay, we're going down, folks. We're going down. So, I don't know how I'm going to make this look. But we gonna figure it out, boys and girls. We gonna figure it out. There you go. Are you kidding me? Ah, they're driving me insane. Okay, there you go. And now, what if we kind of go up like that? Maybe that looks good. Huh. 
Man, I don't know. I have no idea how to make this look. It looks pretty interesting so far, but I have a lot of work to do with it. There's a lot to mess with. This all looks so horrible. It'll look good eventually, I'm sure. But for now, no way. It does not. It's gonna be stone eventually, though. You know what? I think I'm gonna cut it here. Instead of you guys having to watch me say, Oh, I don't know. Oh, this might work, or blah, blah, blah. I think I'm gonna work off camera, uh, and I'll get back to you once, you know, maybe I'm... Once I fill it in with stone or whatever. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in a moment, and we'll get to work on the turbine and possibly the balloon. I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah. I'll see you guys shortly. Alright, everyone. I'm back, and I am ready to show you guys the airship that I have just spent the past three hours making. Um, so, actually, before I do show you guys, I want to say that it's not complete. But this is, unfortunately, the end of the episode because... Like I said, it took me three hours and I don't have much time to record any longer. So I apologize, but we're cutting this episode a little bit short today. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys don't mind. But anyway, let me show you what I've done. So I've actually done quite a lot, as you can see. I kind of went down instead of up this time, because as you guys know, uh, or as you guys saw, the glass part that you see over here was was originally supposed to be up here but I decided to go down instead so now it kind of has a submarine look to it I suppose I also gave it some wood flooring so that we can eventually make it more homey or whatever I suppose uh, so that could be uh, really nice and over here is obviously the control part where the main seat will be, uh, you know, the captain's chair, and he'll be able to see down there and up there and basically anywhere. So yeah, I spent a lot of time uh, trying to figure this out. Unfortunately, there's a small issue with these parts right here. As you can see, they're not slanted or they're not sloped or whatever. Uh, actually, I did make them sloped, but for some reason, every time you boot up the game or, you know, you quit and then join in or whatever, they unslope themselves, which is annoying. I don't know why that happens. happens. That's definitely a bug. I can swear on my life with that one. I know I claim a lot of things to be bugs, but this is definitely a bug and there's nothing you can really do about it. I'm not sure if that happens in the PC version as well. It might, but yeah. Anyway, you're probably wondering what the heck is up with these rainbow bricks and why they're even here. Well, you know how on airplanes they have flashing lights or whatever so that you can tell that there's one in the sky so you don't crash into one if you're for some reason flying into the sky? I don't know. Uh, just other planes, I guess. Uh, or just for decor? I don't know exactly what they're for, but yeah. Uh, airplanes have that, so our spaceship does as well. Um, and as you can see here, we have, uh, a stupid wyvern, or a harpy, excuse me, I was making that mistake earlier. Uh, we have a bunch of propellers here, so like I said, I found this on, uh, the on the Terraria Reddit page, and I thought it looked pretty cool. Unfortunately, these are supposed to be slanted. Just give me a sec here. These are supposed to be slanted, but like I told you earlier, there seems to be a bug going on with them, and since I relogged, it doesn't seem to work. So I guess we'll just make those normal. Maybe that'll look uh, cool as well, I guess. So there we go. That's how they look normal. It doesn't look as cool as it did, uh, but it seems as though we're having a problem here as well because these are supposed to be sloped as well. So that's a bit of a bummer. Nothing you can do about it, but that's how it's supposed to look minus this part, of course, because I just changed that up for the sake of you know, making it proper or whatever. So I'll try and figure out what's going on with that. Uh, it might not even be a bug, but I'm pretty sure it is. This over here, uh, these are supposed to be sloped as well, but you know, they're not because of the issue that I'm having. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how this uh, came along. Like I said, I don't have enough time to record any longer, so I want to leave the rest up to you guys. What the heck did I just do? Oh, I accidentally... Uh, I accidentally messed this up. I want to leave the rest up to you guys. Uh, so tell me how you want me to decorate this area. I would appreciate that. So what could I use for a captain's chair and what could I put over 
in this area here. Most likely this will be a storage area, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe this bottom bit will be a storage area. It's up to you guys, really. So, tell me what you think, um, and in the next episode, we're going to be building the balloon that I was talking about because I don't know if I said I've decided against it or not because I did two takes of the earlier part of the video. Uh, but yeah, I'm not against it. I'm going to be making a balloon here, uh, so we'll probably be doing that in uh, the next episode. Oh boy, my favorite. We've got a wyvern after us. Awesome. My uh, freaking favorite. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to end the episode here, ladies and gentlemen, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit the like button down below. If you like my content and want to be notified whenever I post a video, hit the big red subscribe button. If you want to see more videos like this, click one of the white squares on the right. On the bottom left, you'll see my schedule for posting videos too. Thanks for watching.